that Elon Musk and all of SpaceX is excited for this static test. Uh, I read that it's supposed to last for the whole duration, uh, a full burn, in other words. Uh, this new improved version, uh, I don't know if they've named it, but I've heard it's named version 1.2 because the last one was 1.1. It has, uh, instead of 1.3 million pounds of thrust, it has 1.5 million pounds of thrust. And the cryogenic fuel has been made even colder, I guess, in order to compress more, more oxygen into the tank, along with bigger kerosene tanks also so this baby should really roar when it does take off and I, it, we're quite a ways away here tonight for the static test but hopefully we'll have a closer view for the launch should be a spectacular launch the weather's going to be much cooler we're having exceptionally high temperatures today in the 80s and Launch day is supposed to be down in the 60s. Perfect temperature. So, we're going to stay out here as long as we can tonight and see if they do the test fire. But I can't see any vapor. Of course, it's getting dark. Any oxygen runoff coming through the tank. So, they may be holding off to later tonight or tomorrow morning. At any rate, this is Mike with U.S. Launch Report. And we're excited to bring this return to flight with the Orbicom holding 13 different satellites and that fairing on top, which isn't real clear right now, but it will be when we set up our remote cameras. So for now, this is Mike signing off for U.S. Launch Report. Thanks a lot for watching.